staying up late past right, our right, bedtime. All right, ready? Bedtime. And uh, here we go. God damn. It's all right to tell me what you think about me. I won't try to argue. I hold it against you. I know that you're leaving. You must have your reasons. The seasons are calling. The pictures are falling down. Wow. Get out of my room, mom. All right. Get out of my room, mom. This is the late cast. <laughs> Welcome to late. it. We're Guys, staying up after some beers. hours here at Corridor <laughs> Digital to bring you a podcast because that's the way we want it to be. We want you to have these podcasts so you can enjoy them as much as we enjoy making them. So welcome. Is I this, hope everybody's doing great. Is this some weird like Texas outfit? Uh, you no. Know. Yeah, this okay. is what they wear in Texas. This is these what days. they wear in Austin, maybe, oh. but in the rest of the state, we wear <laughs> exactly. regular Keep clothes. Keep it weird. Keep yeah. it weird. Um, yeah. Now we're filming Son of a Dungeon. Season right two. now, we're on just wrap day five, and uh, <laughs> man, it's going well. Every frame of painting, and. Um, <laughs> Not the channel, but like, you it's know. It's a great channel. It yeah. is. At one point. R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, a story on Rip later. But <sighs> yeah. Uh, so we just wrapped day five and um, it was it went great. Um, yes. So I'm in costume still because we went right from that to this. And yeah. everything looks super good. We just finished the first VFX shot of the season. Did you? Yeah. It's looking good. Yes. See, Mike, see Mike is stoked. He's like. Oh! That's awesome. <laughs> so that was a good reaction. I was like. Sweet. Yeah, what is the we, VFX shot? That's the big opener once. Spoilers. Oh, oh yeah. O opener. <laughs> spoilers. Mm. Opener. We have uh, taking painstaking efforts. We have took painstaking efforts this season to try to bring the quality of everything you see above and beyond what you saw in the first season. Um, not just the story, but also the um, the green screen in-world footage, um, the uh, level of characters that you see, um the action the sound design the music um so yeah we even yes. casey's adding on to the library from the first uh season the, all the music he's he, nice. he has his sort of like core and then he's adding songs and i love that cool. all that stuff's on spotify now yeah it's so cool too because if you like anyone's doing an instagram yeah, post they can just like put the song in it as well because it's yeah. just on there now it's so yeah. cool Makes it real. Yeah. No, it's great. Makes it a real boy. But wait, who do we have here for the audio only listeners? Oh. Who are you? Wow. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm I work here. Hi, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Fenner. I also work here. <laughs> oh, cool, really? Congratulations, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good to have you. I'm Nick. I don't work here. Yeah, Nick, we just brought Shit. in off the street. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. <laughs> seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Cool guy. I can yeah. Sweep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh Well, who who are you though? Yeah. Oh, I'm Warren Watt, uh, Bard, uh -huh. and uh, uh, Bard, an illustrious um, citizen of Cecilton. Mm. Jake's and, real method. He doesn't yeah, break yeah. character ever. Yeah, and um, I've been on an adventure slaying mind flares, uh, but I walked through a portal and I ended up here. Wow. And uh, you guys seem seem pretty cool, so I think I'm yeah. going to stick around if you don't mind. Cool. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Welcome Happy to, to have future, you. Brother. Welcome to the future, brother. Is yeah. this the future? Well, I don't know, actually. Is, 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 it, or is it a different dimension? <laughs> yeah, probably a different dimension. <laughs> different dimension. I don't know. Huh. I have a spell called Dimension Door. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Is that how you got here? No. Dimension oh. Door can only transport you 500 feet to a known, a previously known mm. location. Wow. Um, yeah. So I can't get through dimensions with dimensions. That's not a very cool dimension. Door. I mean, it's, it's, it's saved me one time. There was this man named Gorgeous Greg. Yeah. He mm -hmm. was a member of the I remember um, that guy, Wentingham boy. Shire. Yeah. He had, a, uh, he had a sick treasure room. Gorgeous Greg. Well, no, Gorgeous. That, that was uh, Vincilius. Oh, that was, okay. yeah, it happened How at silly of me. Yeah. It happened at Vincilius. <laughs> wow, yes, sports yes, star. Yes. Yeah. But Gorgeous Greg is no longer with us. Um, R. unfortunately R. he turned into a mind flare. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yes, he did. Yeah. Wow. Man, was he gorgeous. I have to, no, he I was. have to throw this out there. There's a life size replica of no spoilers, some kind of animal in our studio. It's right a donkey. Now. You can say it's a donkey. Oh, you oh, can see it. Spoilers, you can see there's it. a donkey. Oh, yeah. He's literally you behind you. He's giving you a little. <laughs> right here. Look at him. For the listeners, there's a, there's in the frame is this damn donkey. Oh, dude. Um, Jake, how much does that donkey cost? Well, to rent it, it costs $237 a week. <laughs> that's actually... But that's we're a, only renting yeah, it for a week. For a week. Okay. okay. And okay. to purchase it, I heard it costs grand. about $900. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so that that's what I heard. I heard that it was like a grand to rent. No. Well, I heard depending the, on how long you hold it for. Okay. Yeah. yeah we fair. should uh, photo scan that sucker, and then we can have it that's walking a good around. Idea. And yeah. That's a really yeah. good idea. Because there's a scene. Sweet. There's a scene in season two where I'm sitting on it. Well, it's Nico casts spider climb on it. Yeah. Which gives it the ability the to walk up and down walls, and then Bob Ren's character throws me on top of it so i'm sitting on this donkey while it's climbing down a, a wall <laughs> and i'm like trying to stay on this thing um have you filmed with it yet uh no no not did, yet did we film with it yet ren got, got, got a shot. shot okay okay yeah <laughs> it's just very funny to have a life-size donkey sitting in our studio yeah right now. yeah well it's a it's little awesome. bit smaller it would be a very small donkey it'd be yeah. a tiny donkey yeah it would be pretty small yeah. at what point do we just buy the donkey to have well you know? you know i mean not yet not yet yeah, yeah. one more week though maybe she's hit that point yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could have nat cast the donkey and then we'll just have one yeah you could hang it from the ceiling that'd be <sighs> kind of awesome that'd be pretty <laughs> sweet. there when we need it yeah yeah steve used to have what an airplane hanging from the ceiling uh like it wasn't model. steve so the guy that used to have this law this studio before us was named ben and he was this um kind of like hairbrained uh artist slash uh engineer i guess you could call him an engineer um and he had all these weird and wacky inventions that he had like hanging from the ceiling interesting well, um, da vinci's workshop and he used of, to yeah. have so well they used to hold raves in here back uh, in the back really? in the nine like late 90s and early yeah. 2000s when wow. that was a thing and then uh he used to have a dj come in and like on Fridays and he would just like have people over and it was like this vibe, you know, <laughs> thing. Yeah. Dude, Glow the sticks. weird sh stuff that's gone on in the studio. Oh. They used to shoot pornography at the end of the street. Oh, fun. In Joel's really? place. Oh, yeah, Joel's place. Yeah, Joel's old place. And then the, all the girls would be like, God only knows what they were up to in there, but then they'd come out and they'd be like standing in the street and like their little, you know. was That was when y'all were here? Yes, oh, and, and yeah, they'd be wow. sitting out there smoking cigarettes and yeah, like walking. Yeah, has changed a yeah. lot. No way. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Yeah. Now we have like weed businesses, nice established businesses. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. nice. The yes. nice established <laughs> yep, businesses. Nice. Yeah, and then uh, under the bridge, there was this guy named Sarko that used to oh. uh, have a truck yard. Did he sell potions? No, uh, he was this. Uh, I don't know if he was. He was this Latino guy, and he used to just like hold pallet parties where they'd like make structures out of pallets and then they just Whoa. like it's kind of awesome they just go for it man they like just burn them nah dude whatever you <laughs> want to crawl around whatever you want to do you burning we should have a pallet party <laughs> yeah yeah that and, sounds and so fun. they had uh <laughs> they had um go-karts and they'd ride them up and down the road at night what? and wow. um what that's weird what happened to the city dude yeah. i know this used to this area used to be like <laughs> You know, oh yeah, a lawless Jankton. area. Yeah, wow. yeah. the best because all the manufacturing. Jank. So all these buildings were built in, you know, like the twenties, thirties, and forties, and then when that American manufacturing like went to the wayside, this area just became desolate. Hmm. And then all these artists started moving in here because you had a ton of space and it was cheap. Mm -hmm. So that's when Steve bought this building in eighty one, and then they turned it into a lofts, and then that kind of happened around here, and. Yeah, a lot wow. of weird stuff, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Do you guys find it super weird that Ren's body is just lying flat? Who wants to put it on? <laughs> uh, I'm I mean, good on that. I definitely it's don't want. So you don't want to put it on. I'm gonna it's, grab it's still it. Warm. Yeah. I'm gonna take it, don't but I'm not. Gonna, just like, just hold it up. Ren has I'm not gonna this. put the insides of that thing anywhere near you my. Need like body. a little blanket. Ren, Ren has cold. this. Uh, <laughs> so weird. He has a chest piece. So heavy, though. Yo, give he, us some sound. He, he has a rubber chest piece so that he's heavy, that son. his character is wearing for season two, Son of a Dungeon, and oh. it's it's very life like looking. Uh, Dude, you but play it's that stuff well. It's man. pretty the gnarly. The are really concerning. <laughs> man, it's just it's it's the thing is it's hot still. It still has yeah. a warmth from yeah. Ren, right? Which is kind of gross. Wearing it all day. Yeah. Just yep. skin suit. So my pathetic. skin suit <laughs> <sighs> yeah so suits, what man. else is going on around here what have you guys been up to today i haven't talked well, to you guys you all know, day yeah we're just uh cooling down from last week's kind of mad dash 
Yeah, stormtroopers, mad yeah. dash. Kind of don't know what to do with myself. What's the I'm video like, at what do now? I do? Uh, the one on corridor got like, like two, two million views in two days. Two point five ish, I think, or something. Yeah, something like that. Nice. Just pretty good. That's great, I mean, man. That's that's awesome. That's yeah. It's yeah. it's it's nice when you actually set out to make a viral video and then it goes viral. Right. It's always uh, I mean, kind of two for two with the Batman thing too. Two point five. <laughs> All yeah, downhill from here. That's what we said last time. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. Heck yes. Well, that's awesome. We still got it, guys. Still yep. got it. <laughs> Did it get freebooted enough yet? Is it like on um, Twitter and. On... I actually haven't seen anything. Pop I haven't up seen like it much. Naturally. Yeah. But in a couple of weeks, somebody will take it. Yeah. And yeah. Re- I saw someone it. posted a still in the Star Wars subreddit of Darth Vader standing in the bloody rubble oh, yeah? bodies. Okay. But they linked to the video, which was cool. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, That's good. That yeah. It was funny. Happen. Compared to the Batman video, like I feel like the Batman video was way bigger on social media and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On YouTube, this video is popped yeah. off a lot. Yeah. More. Interesting the way that works. It is, yeah. yeah there's no like, predictability to it. Yeah, like a viral video doesn't always translate to like a lot of views on your YouTube channel, yeah. right? You yeah. know, they're not like synonymous always. Totally, especially when it gets freebooted and stolen from you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how many video views have been stolen. Probably over half. Yeah, like, probably. Yeah. So yeah. we have. This isn't a brag. This is just a. Like, I'm just trying to give comparisons here. We have 2.5 or so billion video views, I think. And I think 1.3 on on crew. 1.2? So that's uh, 3 billion. So I think you could honestly say that there's probably close to a billion views that haven't been monetized by us. It's crazy, man. Billion stolen views. Billions and billions well, stolen. One billion stolen. It's like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, just like the McDonald's slogan. <laughs> Welcome to Cordo. One billion views stolen. Yeah, it's a weird space because a lot of times, you know, we're like, did we steal Star Wars to get those views? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Did and te- the Star answer Wars? is no, it's a parody. And yeah. it's well within the realm of parody and fair use. Yeah. Um, but... At the same time, you know, it, yeah. I guess if you are uh, piggybacking on other IPs, it's piggybacking. It's, to it's be definitely expected. riding the coattails. They can piggyback yeah. on our piggybacking, but they're not the people that are reposting it aren't modifying it in any way yeah, or any creative, yeah. you know, change to just it. Cutting no, just which is they're which just is, ripping it, right? Yeah, that's not yeah. the same. Story blocks. Story blocks is the sponsor of today's episode. Once again, guys, welcome back to this section of the podcast. I hope you're enjoying this episode so far, and I gotta take a moment to tell you about Storybucks. Why? Because, well, they make this show possible, and it's a phenomenal tool that we use here every day. Come on, you know this. When I was a young man, I was asked to make a video, and I got all my footage, and I put it in my timeline, which was arduous enough, mind you. This is one of my first experiences, and then I realized I needed stock assets, and I had no place whatsoever to go to for all my stock asset needs. There wasn't just an abundance of beauty on Storyblocks like there is today. There wasn't an abundance of high quality 4K B-roll, motion graphics, After Effects, templates, images, audio, and more. No, I couldn't just, with the click of a mouse, go to a website that had unlimited all access plans for me to download royalty free as much as I needed from that site for whatever purposes I was doing artistically. No, that didn't exist. It was a dark and desolate time. And then one person came along and said, what if there was a stock asset website that that made it easier? That was your friend in the video creation process and said, hey, you know what? You look like you could use some help. And came in with that loving, helping hand, reassurance, confidence, and all of a sudden, the ideas were flowing again. The magic was happening once more. I wasn't limited necessarily by what I could film. It was it was all just about what I could create in my mind. I was free at last, and it was beautiful. And it still is beautiful because we use Storyblocks every day here at Corridor Digital. So if you guys are interested in getting a stock asset source, consider Storyblocks. They're phenomenal. They have high quality 4K B-roll and a ton, ton more. They have a virtually unlimited library. So every time you go on there, there's going to be something new for you. If you're interested in getting started for yourself, uh, head on over to storyblocks.com slash corridorcast or click the link in the description below. That's pretty easy. Nick, maybe you can put in some um, like mountains here or something like, you know. Like yeah, a, yeah, like Appalachian. Yeah. That's it. Now back to the episode. 
the uh one thing we were talking about with nico yesterday is i didn't realize how close the quarter channel was to that diamond play button mm. like you guys are close. yeah it is it's close pretty close it's like 9.47 yeah mm -hmm. 9.48 i just checked it yesterday wow. <laughs> popping up yeah, yeah no um that's a big deal i th i think in like within the year within oh, a year from dude. now yeah yeah it's a put it on the legendary. wall oh yeah it was kind of it was cool and seeing what? <laughs> and then what dude? we can all go home <laughs> you just quit? do they have do they have one at like 50 and 100 i don't think so don't they have one like didn't pewdiepie get like a freaking like he got like a ruby didn't he a, oh a ruby one oh yeah oh, he gets some kind of, kind of ruby What's the highest? It's like made of the one true cross. Like, yeah, dude, yeah. yeah. It's like, like, yeah. It's like the relic. Holy Grail. <laughs> relic. Yes. So that's a thing in in Catholic cathedrals. They oh, yeah. say that the altar has to have a piece that's to be awful. truly a cathedral. Hmm. The altar has to have a piece of the true cross mm. oh. in it, being the true cross being the cross that Jesus actually died on. Yeah, oh, okay. How many true crosses are there? Oh, as many as they can. Stand well, out. <laughs> that's up to some debate. You kind of just throw a piece of old wood I on mean, a wall and be like, I, I don't know if anyone quite knows what happened true to cross. that cross. But. I mean, the Holy Land was the biggest tourist destination for like all of our history. Yeah, like, Wait, uh, throughout antiquity, <laughs> the Middle Ages, that was the place that you that's, go. That's like, why they had the Crusades just, because they were trying to get all yeah. that visitors, tourist money. <laughs> totally. I mean, the Crusades were just an armed it's pilgrimage. Like OG yeah. Disneyland, <laughs> dude. When you <laughs> totally. say Holy Land, I'm from Florida. There's a Holy Land in, in Orlando. <laughs> it's called Holy Land. And I thought, that's what you're talking about. The they just made it. By the way, it's out of business now because no one went to it. But it was just like this amusement park that just like. The, it was a Jesus amusement oh, park. Oh, was it like awesome. was it like Jerusalem or what? I mean, they kind of tried to make a little the tiny Jerusalem hmm. kind of situation. I hear that somebody built a Noah's Ark in Tennessee. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with to, those, to, to spec based with on just an absurd awesome. amount of money <laughs> based on what it says in Genesis, mm -hmm. or I guess is that Genesis mm. or was that Exodus? I think <laughs> it's Genesis. It spec. Yeah. I love that. Spec. Like, well, no, it actually specs it out really? in general. That's yeah. awesome. They crammed a bunch of animals in Some there. Blueprints. The whole nine yards. Yeah. I've yeah. read the whole Bible. Has anyone done the math it was on like how many animals dry, would actually of it. fit? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, they, I was they converted to the measurements because mm. you know it's like old use yeah, yeah. terms. Totally. Yeah. Well, you learn something new every day, man. Hey. I, I didn't know that we had specs for an arc, but I'm glad we All right, do. so rip. Rip. Whoa. Okay. Get, oh, into it. get into it. what's so ripping. Sam always says rip, 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 right? and then like you lock your keys in your car, and somebody says rip, rip. Yeah. Well, so there was this guy. I told the story. L like R.I.P. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there was this guy. He was a soldier. Yeah. He was a Texas Ranger. He was a Confederate general. He was. Uh, he was all these things. Uh, he's fought in the Mexican American War. Um, his name was John Salmon Ford. And at the end of his, um, battle reports, when he listed the death count, he used to put rest in peace. Mm -hmm. He'd put all the names and send it to command and then put rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And then eventually he, he was sending so many of these that he just changed it to rip. <laughs> and then his soldiers started calling him rip Ford. Or, that's yeah. A sick that's a, yeah. That's a badass that's name. Pretty dope. And then it, that's how that, wow. that's, and that's then somehow that ended up on Halloween decorations all rip, across the dude. globe. Yeah, that's wow. that's fascinating. Actually, I feel like there's probably so many movies that like take place before that time where you see like a gravestone mm, that says like R.I.P. Mm. or something. I mean, it like, may have been thing. use in it may have been use in use before that, but like, I, as far as I know, it didn't. It wasn't he invented wow. R.I.P. Wow, popularized iconic. the term. <laughs> iconic. <laughs> Rip it's so iconic <laughs> throughout history. <laughs> People die throughout history, and rip has been used. Yeah, dude, dude, death is kind of taken uh, for granted. The fighting, man, it's all around us, dude. Like it's it's, it's like what? Wait, did you say death? No, like yeah, like <laughs> thinking about his. Oh, we have it so good. Oh yeah, yeah totally. Dude, like I, I watched Dunkirk last night, and the whole time I was just like, like, oh my god. I know. <laughs> like, I was watching World War Two footage at lunch today, and I was yeah. just like. Man, I'm I sitting here too. playing in playing this <laughs> effing playing in this fictional world <laughs> yeah. dude, in front of this green screen. Like, oh, uh, I got to rent a donkey. Yeah, I got to rent a donkey. <laughs> it's like, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, we have it great. That's this, why, like, history. I've said this before, but it just 
learning about history and like contextualizing our lives now yes. can almost cure my depression. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dude. No, seriously. Like, it makes it trivializes all of our worries. Right. Um, and it's, you know, you gotta you gotta listen to yourself, but still totally it's important to yeah. zoom out a little bit. No, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. we've got like yeah, I mean it's just it's all perspective. I mean, so many people are like, oh my God, like the, everything's going to hell. And it's like, man, we are living in kind of the totally. best time yeah. ever right. in history. Like, like yeah. in we have, a lot of ways. Yeah. So many Can you things, imagine living so in the Northman times? Oh. <laughs> like just walking around with your shirt off. Yeah. We have enslaving we have on people set. and then just like <laughs> That's the only way you can operate your right. village or whatever. Dude, you can hang around the like bonfire with slaves. With boys and just pretend Dude, to be the, wolves. Yeah, the, the brutalities, farm. man. Yeah, we? we could do that. Yeah, we should do the that. The brutalities are the real. Slave bar for later tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have yeah. a case of shelled pistachios. Yeah. on oh. the table right there. They're totally. in this little. Ca- they come in this little pre-packaged, you know, like plastic box, and you pull the thing open and you open it up, and there's roasted, salted. And shelled the pistachios that you can just grab by the handful and just oh, the food yeah. of kings. <laughs> Meanwhile, just a few generations ago, they were getting literally shelled. Yeah, 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 yeah right. And, and canned. Yeah. I feel I do feel bad for the guys who have to sit there and you know eat the pistachios and shell them, and then they don't get to eat them. Yeah, because I yeah. hear that's how they do Wait. it. What? <laughs> they eat the pistachios you know and then they you, don't eat them. You know, just... you get a pistachio and you yeah. have to break it open yeah. to get the to get the seed yeah, inside. As you do. But yeah. now they they sell them without the shell. You gotta yeah. spit them back. So up. how do you think they get them unshelled, dude? Good they have point. an army of people they that definitely just do it that way. It's yeah, like that, uh, like that coffee that that, <laughs> that animal has to eat and then poop out. That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, yeah. hell yes. Is that a thing? Yeah, people do that. Yeah, yeah poop coffee. Oh, yeah. What the f- it's it's it, what it's is like it like a most expensive or something? It's yeah. like a little cat, it's some kind of like puma or, looking thing. It's like yeah, a little yeah, mountain yeah, yeah. lion. Wait, oh. wait, go Dude, into it, wait. Apparently, it's, it, it, it's some of the rarest, most sought after coffee in the world is is digested coffee because it literally does a chemical process to the beans. And uh, apparently it's really good. I'd be down to try I'm gonna t- it. I'm if anyone has a hookup, I'm son, typing poop on coffee on Google. Why would you have poop coffee? Send it over to Corridor Digital. We're on Google. That's a crew cuts right there. I'll drink it. Poop coffee. Blue oh, yeah. I will not I, be I drinking totally blue ock Christian poop would do coffee. It. Dude. Oh, you did? Yeah. Christian did it. Is it In worth Bali, it? He did Is it, it worth the poop? <sighs> it was great. What do you said. mean it's great? I'll eat it's really great. I'm sorry, but like just walking around here in LA, there's probably poop Listen, particles in like, the air. It's probably oh, less poop in the coffee than we come is. into contact. Do you want to know how expensive it is? Sausage is enough for me. They already have to, to take in yeah. the intestine and that then is, bleach it. And then go. that's well, what you, the sausage casing is. Yeah. Totally. Do you, okay. Have so that and some coffee. Oh my God. Price per pound is about 100 to $600 <laughs> a pound. We got to do, do it. Poop we got to do it. Black <laughs> Gravel <laughs> Coffee Company. Yeah. Nick, Dude, that's like inflation <laughs> price. Is during the Civil War. Poop yeah. juice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that poop juice. Well, I mean, someone has to like collect it from the from the little monkey toilet or the little I'm cat sorry. toilet. I'm sorry. So just let's just paint a full picture here. So what you're telling me is somebody goes out and finds a specific bean and they're like, it's the Arabica strain of such and such. And then they go and they do they roast it first? They roast did, it first. Do they? I thought it and was then they the... feed it to an animal. What animal? An I ox? Or no? I think I think it's like it's the ox. cat. It's a cat. Yeah. The it's cat the eats cherries. The bean. So the you cherry. Eat, so and then poops out the seeds, which are the beans. Yeah. It, it consists of partially digested coffee cherries. Oh, they give them the full cherries. Defecated by the Asian like palm or something. Or something. Yeah. Or yeah. Sir, 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 I think it's pronounced C I V E T. Oh, serve it. Serve it. Serve it. Is that Survey. a cat? Is that a cat? I don't know. What is a servant? Oh, it's time to Google some more stuff. Know. Yeah, it's it's like a little puma looking thing, yeah. but it's a wild know. cat. Poop coffee. Yeah, yeah. wild cat. They make so great then, coffee. Then, then, okay, so then who, what is Survey. the processing yeah. for yeah. getting yeah. the coffee Survey. once it's been Survey. defecated? Civet. Just, just reach your hand. Just reach in. You just reach in. Those beans. Yeah. And then, Wash them do they roast it after? Yo, it looks like a raccoon slash. Uh, I like that. A dude, civet. That's so cool. Dude, civet. check this out. Oh, that's cool. This is a crazy looking animal. Anyone a raccoon folks cat. at home, Google a civet. C-I-V-E-T. Uh, it's like a raccoon hyena cat. Civet. On its fur. Look at that thing. 
That's so cool. That's what? an insane looking animal. Oh, so it's a wild it's like cat. A, looks like a, what the, raccoon. Like a raccoon. It does look, it looks like, like a raccoon, raccoon mixed with, a, mixed with, a, a, uh, with an axis deer. I love animals with yeah. jobs, dude. That's the man, best. That's cool. Animals, animals with jobs. Yeah, animals animal. with jobs. Like, we we, we get are animals. animals with jobs. We are yeah. animals with and jobs. And it's got a little bit of an ultra vibe to it. Oh, man, I know, right? Uh, or else we go freaking crux crazy. of the human condition, my friend. Yeah, I mean, hey, we're it's, dependent it's we're on each other for survival, and in exchange, we trade yeah. value to each other. Why is it just Sir. this weird animal that can produce it's the best vet. poop coffee? <laughs> I don't know. It just likes it. Likes what, hap the coffee, what happens man? to this poor cat when it's like high on caffeine? Just I don't think it would would be, though. <laughs> absorbs any of the caffeine. Probably not though, because the, the fruit doesn't have. Caffeine, yeah, right? it's, it's only the inside of the bean. Or the mm. the cherry. Man. Well, there's still caffeine in the in the bean, though. Mm. Really? Well, it's in the well, well, the, the cherry, bean, the, the, the husk, fruit, the fruit, whatever. It's not so in the husk. Is the it? Fruit thing. Caffeine's not the in the bean, husk. Right? That's what I'm saying. So it eats the husk, gives us the bean. Poops win win. The bean. That, that's that's job the security right life, there, baby. man. You get fed on the job. You get meals taken care of, dude. Mm. You know, you have a purpose. How many cats do you think like an operation has to like Christian be productive? How many cats? You went to a farm? farm? No, really. How many were on the farm? How many employees did they have? Out, dude. They got there's a bunch of just oh civets. civets. How do you pronounce the thing? No, the civet. The you should, I think it is civet. You should cut civet. in some of your phone footage from that trip over this podcast. We know oh a lot about God. this. <laughs> Pop it on top. The, Man, uh, we're the authorities. I'm on super down to try coffee. that. Well, if it's Monday morning and you're listening to this driving to work, I hope that your coffee is is. Uh, I hope you didn't pay six hundred dollars a pound for your coffee. Yeah, yeah. What kind of rich asshole thing is that? I mean, I it know. probably started as like asshole. a normal person <laughs> thing, and now it's a rich asshole thing. Yeah, well, that's you what know? always yeah. happens. Because yeah. like Vox true. did an article, right? On it yeah, and now it's yeah, a, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A because it's, because it has a limited mm -hmm. supply, it yeah. immediately gets bought. Totally. Yeah. Delicacy, yeah. like eating snails. Were we talking the escargot? Yeah, you call it escargot, and now it's expensive. Yeah, mm -hmm. snail steaks, snail steaks, <laughs> like bone marrow. We were just talking about gator. We might yeah. want to get. We some actually gator might meat. order some gator Dude, if would, you want to get in on that. that. I've fried had gator. gator. It's not very good. Really, I'm a fan. In when my it's fried. opinion, fried it's very gator. fishy, mm. but not in like a good way. It's kind of like the calamari of the swamp. Uh, like a little bit of a chewiness to it when I had it. Well, I'd be willing to try it again. I had it at Papa Do's. Oh, you did? Yeah, fried fried when we gator. Went? Uh, no, it was uh, when Christian and I went to Florida. When did you go to uh, Papa Florida. Do's? It was in the airport. They had Papa Do's in Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't it, it know this, by the way. And then we had fried this. gator. We were Dude, waiting man, at the airport. I want to try some gator. I, I only yeah. had it when we did our Texas trips. Ah, uh, Papa Do's is the shit. <laughs> it is the <laughs> shit. I mean, we did go to awesome. Papa Do's, but... We, earlier, we were just thinking about, like, what the name of the place was. Me and Nick had this whole, like, our brains exploded for a second. And then we looked at each other, and then both immediately said it. Like, it was like a weird we brain blast yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, Papa Does. Yeah, you're... they got Papa two of them in San Papa Antonio, Do. dude. <laughs> I've been trying to take my mother in law there for her birthday, which was on March 16th. But you, you, it's like that hard to get. What? Well, I it's haven't that... like made a reservation gotcha. and we've been, you know, kind of casual about it because we got the small kids. And so we have to find the right time to go. Gotcha. But. Papa Go? Dude, you, one does not simply just go to Papa Do. Oh, so <laughs> you don't just go. No, you don't just show up at no. Papa Do. Yeah. Not yeah. unless you want to wait an hour and a half. Yeah. You got to have You have to be special, poignant about special it. Special yeah, yeah, VIP yeah. treatment yes. there. Yeah. yeah. It's a good place. Man, I would try Gator. That sounds it, good. I mean, it's $24 a pound. You can order it online. I have the link right the on coffee. my phone. It's open Better than still. the poop coffee. Yeah, yeah, cheaper than the coffee. That's a deal. You want that gator or you want poop coffee? Let's do it. I want both. I'm so down. Let's do a whole meal you based on this podcast be, right yeah. Your bowels will be clean after that. Oh, yes. I'll put Hell it that yeah. way. <laughs> hey, what? we're thinking about a spice cast here. Yes. Yes. And that's something that I, I just want to throw oh, it out oh, there what? again that I would love yeah. to Dude. participate yes. in spice? something where we just eat Smoke the spice? spiciest. No, we're oh. thinking like Howlin' Fried Ray's chicken. spiciest oh, flavor. Let's do it next yeah. week. On the, I'm so yeah. down. Okay. And then maybe play down. like Spy Fall or something. Yes. Yeah. Spice Fall. Spice, spice Fall. fall. <laughs> spice, fall. <laughs> it's spice Fall. Let's do it next I week. I think Spy Fall yet. That would be fun. I think for that? Son of a Dungeon will still be filming. So yeah. We'll come back. We'll do an after hours Spice Fall. Spice, mm -hmm. yeah. spice Cast. Yeah. yeah. Spice Cast. Spice Fall. Is it. What is it? Is it Spice Cast or Spice Fall? Spice Fall. Spice Fall. Spice Fall sounds. Spice That's, fall sounds good. Okay. I don't know. Spice cast. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> what, do you, yeah. what do you think? Then? Hey, what, what kind of spices should, should we, we consume? Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Um, How spicy should we get on this spice cast? If you uh, have a pepper preference, let us know. Yeah. 
I think we should ruin our lives yeah. for a night. Yeah. Cool. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll go howling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to go howling. I'm the one that gave you the glove to eat. Oh, but you could bring the bomb, dude. Oh, I don't know. No, man. Christian's <laughs> birthday party like four years ago, we did the whole gauntlet of of the uh, hot ones, oh. hot sauces on wings, and <laughs> it got rough. Mm. Dude, that's <laughs> a great rough. show, man. <laughs> there were like <laughs> people in the bathroom lined up, like oh, waiting God. to vomit. It's like, Brutal, man. We were throwing around uh, just random crew video ideas, and we were like, just a stu- super dumb one that we came up with was just based on all the ragdoll stuff and like lighting Chewie on fire in the Star Wars video. You just have Hall one guess, but they actually just spontaneously combust. <laughs> and just ragdoll like fall off the stool. Okay, so that's, yes. So that's, sorry, I spit all over the microphone. <laughs> that's what I was talking about the other day with like parodying things that people already know. Yeah, I feel like we could do it. It'd be pretty Dude, funny. we could totally. Dude, that bike to turn parkour videos, oh dummy God. parkour. The, There's a lot of stuff I'm, you can dude, do with ragdolls, man. I love ragdoll parkour. That's yeah. like... <laughs> I know. I really... It's just, let's do I it. Just, is parkour below. still popular? It's always going to be popular, dude. Parkour. But it's not Devin like... Super Tramp, he's still making stuff. Yeah, but it's not <laughs> like how it was. Like The Office made it funny. And ago. then it's yeah. like... But that was a long time ago. And I don't know if it's like... It's not like I as mean, relevant of a joke. Maybe until Jesse LaFleur that he maybe will, that's how you start. He's gonna show up in the comments. Yeah, then. like he will you fucking jump the, off your head. Man. Off. Jesse <laughs> will climb onto your head. He will do a gainer off your face if he hears you say <laughs> He'll that. He will do a gainer <laughs> off your face after he poops out a coffee bean. Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. You better mark that those words. Better be able to brew that shit afterwards. <laughs> Literally brew that shit. <laughs> oh, you no. gotta brew that shit, baby. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a that's a good can of worms to open, like parodies of other YouTube content. Yeah, I feel like you could get a weird one with a mukbang that goes wrong. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh Dude, god, how weird is YouTube? Mukbangs are strange, that's man. Great. What kind of people sit there and watch like Asian girls eat food? But see, the mm-hmm. thing is, Jake, so like weird. I, that's I thought so the same. Creepy. Thing. It is creepy and weird, but like I. I started watching one of those videos just oh, to no. start making fun of it. Yeah. And then I couldn't stop watching it. And I don't know why. You learned you learned to watch mukbang ironically. Yeah. Cut but that's my problem. Shirtless with crab dripping down <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just. I got really hungry and had to order the shit that they were eating. Yeah. 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 You get that yeah. boil daddy and you just yeah. go down. Yeah, exactly. I don't yeah. know, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's a weird too much hole. for me, dude. Hey man. It's weird dog. Like those weird um superhero videos that are for kids that oh, have yeah. no oh, have no words shut down though, right? and they're all just like oh yeah that stuff weird is so it's like creepy weird like predatory it's so predatory <laughs> like, yeah I think yeah that I was telling my friend about content. that and Ugh. he he had no problem with it he was like what would and I was like but dude people put this on for their kids and they don't even like they glance at yeah, it they, they don't, don't even know how weird it is and how realize. predatory it is it's like weirdly sexual and yes gross. Yeah, and they're like adults in these weird costumes. Right. Yeah. It's, just, it's just wrong, man. It's like, yeah, I don't wrong. know what else to say about it. It's just mm-hmm. it's just wrong. Just go home. Turn these videos off. Do your kids watch <laughs> any YouTube, Jake? Yeah, they watch, uh, like, you know, like the kids' songs and stuff. But we know gotcha. what it is, and we know what channels it's from. Sure, yeah. yeah. We also don't just, like, turn it on and hand it to them. Yeah. That's, dude, That's honestly. iPad babies? Okay, so I'm going to go on a quick tangent yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. After hours, let's go. Yeah. After okay, hours, later. so my Wendy's um, got family down in Mexico, and they they have uh, there's a they have a nine year old down there, and she's on the tablet like twenty four hours a day, mm. dude. Like when she's not sleeping, like she's on the tablet, mm. and they're like, "Well, look, like they and they so they consider it like a learning device, and they're mm-hmm. like, look, like." Look, she learned how to like speak English because she was watching so many videos in English. Like she learned I mean English. But all of the th- all kids are supposed to be like playing with things and playing with their hands and like messing with stuff. And like totally. it's frustrating as a parent when like your two year old walks up and grabs like a bin full of something and dumps it out on the floor. But that's like what they're supposed to be doing. They're yeah. supposed to be doing that so they can get into the world and like get you know not injured but like you know like bruise your knee and scrape your elbow and like like fall over and touch the thing that's hot and like learn how to like be cautious and wise in the world around you 
like ultimately we're hunters and we're like hunter gatherers. That's like still our core. And if you, and if you take away that discovery and we're problem solvers, we have human beings, like if, if we lived in a perfect, you know, utopia, we would ultimately just find another problem. That's yeah. what we do. You could give us everything. You could give us everything. But ultimately we'd be like, oh, well, that picture frame is slightly at an angle. It's not perfectly straight. My coffee wasn't pulled from poop. right yeah. and that's we, why we, we work would, that's why we and, and in, back a, to that. in a perfect enough universe there is some alternate universe out there where like there is a civil war going on because a picture frame is slightly off tilt mm. like that but we would just find another thing to fight about and another problem to solve and that that's just who we are we just do that because that's how we've survived that's part of our survival instinct and when you give a kid like just the tap Look, they have their they have their purpose. I'm not trying to be a luddite here, but th when when they are the instinct of discovery is happening and the satisfaction of problem solving is happening because they're watching somebody else do something like watch a video game and that's yeah. the only source of where they're getting that, that is not good because mm. when you take that away, they don't know what to do. They just go what do I do? Yeah. What, I need the thing back. Like, yeah. give me the thing. Give me the thing that gives yeah. me that. Yeah. It's like, you definitely need to have that like exploratory kind of real world stuff. And yeah. definitely like with playing with other kids and just, yeah. you totally. know, not being glued to that. That's part of, that, that is part of our <laughs> yeah. survival. Yeah. That's the part iPad's of our on survival. the other side of the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an escape room. You, you got to get out. Over there. <laughs> Honestly, that would be fine. Cause yeah. at least they'd have to figure it out. Yeah, man, I can't imagine uh, raising a kid in the age of like it's... devices. Jake, yeah. do you ever uh, wonder when your kids are first going to come to you and show you yourself on YouTube? Oh, they <laughs> yeah, they already Have do they that. Already done that. Yeah, yeah they they'll be like, Dad, what's their favorite brand? Squarespace. <laughs> are they Squares? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Squarespace. Express, it's not oh, ExpressVPN. Sorry, ExpressVPN. Yeah, JJ and Eliza fought that one out, and it, it, Squarespace okay. came out on top. Squarespace. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're okay. first love. I, I, that's kind of a proud dad moment right there. It, it was, yeah. yeah. And I said, what do you do? And Eliza said, get 10% off your first wow. purchase. Oh, no, cool. <laughs> they are going to make great websites with those award-winning templates. Hell yes, yeah. dude. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you, like, I don't know if this is way too inside baseball, or but just as a father, do you ever, like, think, like, ah, I want them to keep going with the old family business, like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Is is that if that's too personal of a question? No, whatever. that's fine. That's how could you ask personal? me that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After hours, asking okay. me a question, whether what my children to do when they grow up? How dare you, Fenner? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like uh, Eliza's shown interest in cameras and in videos, um, and uh, she says she wants to be an astronaut, but it's only because they get to wear cool costumes. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's like what you're wearing right now, man. I know. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be a train conductor, but that didn't pan out. And, and look, for My everybody who's like, you're discouraging your daughter from not wanting to be an astronaut. Like, look, no, I just know that the math, math is not her strong suit. JJ, he's got the math thing. He's like, no, I need to know why this works and why two plus two equals four. And if I take these away, then it equals three. And like, he's very, and that's what you need to be if you're going to be oh, yeah. in outer space in a super fragile machine. Eliza's like, I just want to ride my bike and sing and like take pictures and like draw poems or draw, draw photos and write poems. And like, that's just how she is. That's just her personality. Yeah. So I think she's, she's more artistically inclined. And so if she shows encouragement, but honestly, dude, I just want them to be happy. I, yeah. I don't, I don't care if they work at a gas station, honestly, as long yeah. as they feel like that's the place that they're supposed to be. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy that there's like, at least there's probably one thing that your kids are doing that they're going to grow up to do and be really good at that they're yeah. good at right now. But you don't know what that thing is really. Yeah. yeah. But like, for example, like, cause I, um, uh, on mother's day, I went over to my mom's place and we watched some old videos and me as a kid, I wanted to be behind that camera that they were filming with and looking at what was happening yeah. on the camera all the time. <laughs> yeah. That was, I, you saw like constantly. That was the I'd thing be you like, never saw. Can I see? Can I see? Yeah. You know? And you it's saw like, the thing in the front of parents, the camera, but parents never don't know that that's going to end up being the thing that I do. Right. But, yeah. you know, there's like little stuff that they take interest in 
It's so it's so fascinating. Yeah, like, like holding a, a kid's red mind. With that scorpion king. Rig. Like, <laughs> yeah, can I see? Yeah. Can I see? <laughs> yeah, right. I get to see. I'm the only one that sees. <laughs> I'm the only one who sees now. <laughs> <I> can see. <laughs> it's my camera. Yeah. I swore that day I would never not be able to see again. <laughs> yeah. You guys have that same like when you were younger. Did you kind of know like, hey, yeah. I when I saw a camera or when I saw a video, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I. I feel super lucky because I was kind of from a young age. I remember my sister coming home and we got Photoshop on our computer. Mm. I think probably pirated. She was a few years older and she's like, check this out. It's like MS Paint, the better. Yeah. And that's when I was like first, I remember, in the, I can't remember which version of Photoshop it was, but it was like, you could do like a, a rainbow, like filter thing that would just like make a beam. And I was like, oh my God, you can make like little magic, like beams. <laughs> yeah. In your, and then I was like, ever since then, I was like, oh, sweet. Photoshop. Awesome. Like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah. It was like, I remember I have a, one of my earliest memories is being a little kid in MS Paint and being like, <laughs> I'm going to draw a photo of my dad for Father's Day. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. And there was like only three undos at the time. Oh, and I yeah. I tried to yes. use like the spray paint thing. To, yeah. He had a beard at the time to give his stubble. But then it just made it look like he had poop all over his face. <laughs> and I tried to undo it and I couldn't. And then I just ended up crying and mm. I was all upset. Oh, man. But he still said it looked great. Oh, of course. Yeah. But yeah. that was that's well, that was one of my earliest memories of probably making something on a computer. And mm -hmm. I I don't know if I was like like three or four or something. Like wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's I don't know. I guess that was my earliest like content creator memory. You remember being yeah. three or four and doing that? I, was, it's I don't a think a I remember my threes. Like, <laughs> I think I would have been four. It's yeah. like a super visceral memory for me because I was wow. so upset that you couldn't undo Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I see Wait, they gotta fix did this. you have that nick <laughs> did you like know like early you wanted to be a well, creator or? i'm in a weird situation because i grew up in like a long line of artists like yeah. my dad's oh, side yeah. of the family is like family biz it honestly family dude, biz. Yeah. his mom was an artist her dad was a pretty damn established painter who was also the cousin of george gershwin no, so like wow. okay. it's like a whole thing yeah so if i had become a lawyer they would have been like fuck is this kid doing <laughs> they would have disowned me yeah but also that's hilarious. I, mean, I, I grew up you know seeing my dad drawing yeah that's what he did so mm -hmm. i used to draw and i used to i mean yeah i got that camera when i was 10 and mm. uh started making movies my 10th birthday party i invited all my friends and i spent a month making swords so they'd all have something and then dude. i shot a big battle scene and like what? So yeah. Awesome, man. oh that's yeah no so dude awesome. i had like 20 kids dude, that's and so i was cool. like all right you guys are the orcs. You guys are the humans. And we're going to fucking battle. And then I was just like directing them and like, yeah, so cool. It was just like, honestly, it was like, hey, dad, can you just shoot? And we're just going to play, <laughs> yeah. which is fun, you know? Yeah. So like, I always wanted to you do weren't that. You weren't like, okay, guys, back, you you guys back in five. All right. We need you over here for the medium. Um, and then we're going to flip around. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it didn't quite get that technical. No. I hadn't quite yeah. figured it out. I yeah. was just like camera is somewhere in here and yeah. like yeah but so yeah i mean See, i definitely I, had that like it's I, nice to we're very lucky for having that though and knowing yeah. kind of from a young age what we want to do yeah definitely yeah it's, it's it's easy to take that for granted for yeah. sure um, yeah i never had that yeah yeah, yeah you wanted like to be I, like a lawyer right like no 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 <laughs> what was, what was pre-lawyer uh well depending on how far back you go i remember the first thing i ever wanted to be was a professional baseball player nice. oh hell yeah and i was like yo baseball is the coolest thing mine, ever my was first my backup. was yeah <laughs> my, mine was professional hockey player it yeah didn't work out yes and then <laughs> didn't, didn't work but i was the youngest of four and i had two older brothers and i was always like in their circle with their the kids their age and my old my closest brother was only two years older than me so he wasn't that much older but i think that's kind of how i fell into doing what i was doing because i was always like seeing what other people were doing and then being like oh hey if you're doing that i could do this but i never had that like thing where i was like i need to do this mm. thing in particular i was always like figuring out a way to like add something or like you know contribute in but I was never the one making the rules. Hmm. Hmm. There's still that creative, like, or like that. Well, it's definitely creative. Like yeah. yeah. It's definitely creative. Um, but it wasn't like, you know, where I picked up a camera or I like drew a picture or, and I, and I knew. So you went to the same high school that Sam and Nico went to, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, 
they were I met like Sam the film at kids. an Xbox party. Oh, okay. <laughs> at <a> Halo <laughs> party. Halo. Uh, yeah. Land party. Back when you used nice. to have land yes. parties. Those things were the coolest. Mm -hmm. They're so fun. Dude. Oh I, I miss those Me days, too, dude. Yeah. yeah. We I mean, need to do I the, why don't we do that? We dude, have all these computers. Like, we, we had the excuse with Node, but now that we don't yeah. you do that, it's like we gotta have a land party or something. We shouldn't soon. do that. If actually. you guys play Mario Kart upstairs, I would play. Oh, a Mario Ooh, Kart situation. Not what about really what about the original Halo? Dude, I, I would will play, play that too. Yeah. You uh yeah. Dude, Halo Halo One Can you play that on Switch? I assume you can. Dude, you can play it on Steam now. On Halo, what Halo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Steam yeah, now. the Master Chief Collection. Mm. Yeah, so you, you should definitely Halo do that. Yeah. So I met Nico when him and I were on the cross country ski team. Okay, and I've told this story before, but I haven't told it in a while. And then uh, Nico and I knew uh, this mutually had this friend named David Lovett who wrote, who co-wrote top ten games mm -hmm. you can play in your head by yourself. And then David and I were in like a youth group. And then David would always have Xbox parties at his house. It was like the place where you went to land party. And then one night we were there and there was this like sassy like kid who was just <laughs> kicking my everyone. ass <laughs> in Halo. And I hate, I, I didn't hate him, but I was like this fucking guy. I was like this I fucking mean, guy. It, it can get heated. Yeah, it can, it get, can heated. get heated. And because Sam didn't say very much, you know, and... I was just um, like, you fucking little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> just he was suck. just smoking me the whole time. Um, was yeah. he teabagging too? Just I don't know if he was teabagging. I don't. I don't know. Had it been invented yet? I feel like yet? Sam's classier <laughs> than that. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then uh, that was when I met Sam. Wow. Dang, in like dude. tenth grade or you ninth grade. Halo rivals. Yeah. Huh. Did Did y'all like make movies and stuff? So Sam and Nico used to, and then they would. Every Friday morning, the school had like uh, the AV club or whatever it was, like mm -hmm. got to like show their work. And so like every now and then, Sam, they might recollect this more clearly, but every now and then they'd have like their videos that they would shoot and then they'd get played in front of the whole school yep. like uh, for 15 minutes or five minutes or whatever yeah. it was. Same actually. Yeah. Same. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. Dude. Yeah, wow. we we had a uh, was it like a morning announcements thing? Yes, it was part of morning yeah. announcements. Yeah, yeah, so I was I was a part of a thing called Titan TV, which was mm. the Ooh. Titans are the freaking we were Olympia High School, okay. so nice. you know yeah. Greek stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <Right>. Titans <laughs> Greek, yeah. the Greek business. But yeah. we had like a whole like proper morning announcements news show mm -hmm. um, where we'd be we were anchors and we'd also like make content. Yeah. And the content that we made was they were like short films and stuff and like funny skits. Yeah. And like we overproduced the hell out of those things <laughs> because we were uh, way above yeah. most other people in high school. So me and, me and my buddy, my buddy had a camera because a camera was a rare thing back then, like, especially oh, a digital a camera. camera. Yeah. And we, we had this whole we would shoot these videos where we would just put the camera static and it was a it was a car. It was a carnival and we had characters for every and it was like people trying to get into the carnival and we had all the carny characters who were like part of the cast. And this was like an ongoing video production that Whoa. never got distributed, but that was my <laughs> first it. foyer into video creating. That's awesome. Totally. Yeah, man. I think the best part was just watching the footage with your friends. After yeah, you that, was, you know, that was, that was the, the whole point. So it much fun. Like, Let's just relive these funny moments. I, yeah. I, we threw it around a couple of weeks ago. I love the idea of going back and like remastering some of your totally probably the, the oldest videos you could get. Like go through like AI upscaling them, like making them look as good as we possibly can. So it's like you fighting in your yard, but Bro, like if I, that footage exists, like that would be so fun. It actually does. Oh, yeah. So oh no, for yeah, my I think a lot of us uh, have stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. I I think we could probably source a lot of footage. Yeah, for that. yeah, um, definitely. Because for, so for my eleventh birthday party, <laughs> <laughs> things no, turned out. You laugh, notch. you laugh. But then I spent that next year making Plotting. even better costumes and actually writing a little yeah. script. And Dude. then I found a location. What? And we went out and reshot the whole thing, but like properly. And this time I had two cameramen. Oh, and I had my friends' cameramen? dad too. For my dad's my friends' your dad. dad and your friends' dad. <laughs> and oh my God. I actually found that footage because we like I had the DV tapes and like. In like 2011, I had them digitized. Okay, and then 
so now I have the footage somewhere. It's on like one of my archive drives, but I started editing it and I'm just like, dude, this is, I can't do this. Okay, so one, <laughs> of the, one, of the, <laughs> one of the goals that we've wanted to do for a while was, uh, it's, we, we refer to this concept as the pimp my video concept, but yes, what we really need is like a 10 to 13 year old, like video, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, Hey, I shot this video with my friends yep. and I cut it together. And then they give it to us with the raw footage, and then we t we do the corridor, a thing on it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been very hard to find that. I know that it's, it's a very niche yeah. thing because mm -hmm. the jank runs too deep often. Like yeah. It, yeah. it's often hard to uh, fix something that at its core doesn't have the building blocks to be fixed. Yeah. So like, I mean, maybe now that we have a more developed VFX team, we could like. Legit, but a lot of times, a lot of I, feel times like, I feel like that's the challenge, isn't it? Yes. Like let's make let's like just tackle something that we're like, I don't know how to fix this. Yeah. That's part of the fun of the video. A lot I of think. times all you need are inserts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we can shoot that's other stuff. Part, Additional yeah, photography. We, can, we got deep fakes now. I oh totally. We got I mean yeah. projection mapping with full CG yeah. environments based on the ones that they actually right. shoot. Because often what happens, like a lot of submissions we get is just like a wide shot of all the action and that's all yeah, they have right. like and that's totally we've all been there yeah but it's hard to like turn that into more uh unless you build out a lot of stuff yeah and maybe that's where uh your your talents can come in that'd be it would be so fun like i it even would. just doing a challenge of like even if you just recreate like my first vfx shot recreated yeah, yeah. would be like a very like i don't know i feel like very heartwarming yeah It'd be a fun like exploration too onto like how how you can basically like comparing what you did then versus what you can do totally. now. Yeah. Is like I think that that would hit really hard. Yeah. And not even like personal skills, just technology wise. Sure. What you can oh, yeah. Do. The advancements. Like, yeah. Yeah. We could. Yeah. That would be really interesting to do. It's like take a couple people, maybe a moment from one of the shorts. It doesn't have to be a whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then just like. Okay, I got my resources, and my knowledge now. Let me completely remake it. Yeah, shot for yeah. Shot. yeah, yeah. So we're gonna remake Nick's eleventh birthday, dude. dude. Uh, big, I don't think we can get that, battle. though, dude. We don't have enough production value, dude. That, no, it's like an army. <laughs> you can't even recreate yeah, it. Helicopters. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I think we could, but there might be some other ones that would be even better. Yeah, I feel like it's a better story <laughs> if it's a kid that's still a kid. Yes, yeah. definitely. Okay. That that was actually a really fun part of the stormtroopers thing was uh kind of like paying homage to like Sam and Nico's I think it's called like the Alabine yeah, armor or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're having them in like the X wing costumes. I was like, <laughs> yeah. it, I was I was like that was pretty cool. And like, it wasn't it wasn't lost on the audience. Yeah, too. which and I was really happy about. I was like, <laughs> so maybe that's one we remake the whole thing. Totally. I mean, oh my god, dude, dude, for sure. You got the project files already. I know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we could like do it without like it wouldn't be that crazy. Recreate the Alabine armor. The 4K uh, remaster. No. Star Wars, is, <laughs> dude, Star Wars is all about those remasters, dude, too. Right? Just the look on That's... Sam's face, I can see it now. She'd be like, Arr. Yeah, but the look after he sees it would be Yeah, like, come on. That twinkle in his eye. Oh, dude, he yeah. was so happy to put on that X-Wing costume. <laughs> I'm sure. Talking about the tiny man I'm that lives sure, inside dude. of our team. <laughs> dude, the tiny man joke is my favorite thing in that entire video. <laughs> that, that was so much. <laughs> there was so much more behind dude, the scenes. I know, there's that. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. with him talking it's like such a droid a great, trying to flirt I, with I, our I team. I wanted to yeah. do an outtakes of, of that at the joke. end of the video. Like you should drop it on shoot. Instagram. Yeah, we could probably yeah. do that because yeah. there's some funny ones. It just yeah. we didn't literally didn't have time to cut yeah. that in. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah drop rush. it up and throw it on Instagram. Man. That's perfect. Can I just shout out Casey and Kevin? Yes. Dude. They yeah. killed it also. Yeah. They're um, geniuses. So I talked to them and I was like, all right, so because I didn't know how long the thing was going to be. And uh they were like, I was like, uh, yeah, so it's going to be about 90 seconds, like similar to the Batman thing. And then Kevin's like, uh, this is six minutes of full recreated sound design. Um, <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh, all right, we'll, we'll talk about this. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. But it, dude, it, it, it came through. It yeah. Came I mean, through. like we were saying like three days before it came out we kind of did a like rough cut review and we're like oh no this is terrible <laughs> like we there was yeah. definitely a moment where i think me you and jordan were all kind of like oh no what have we done mm -hmm. <laughs> and then but 
I feel yeah. like in those last two days, it really it came together and totally like yeah. Casey and Kevin's such a huge part of that man. Yeah, Dude, people like, don't notice how important the the audio aspect mm -hmm. is. Yeah, people just think it's all visual. It's visual effects. It's the shots. It's the frame. It's the acting. Like no, it it is called audio visual work for a reason. Yeah, it's like you get the project to ninety percent right. Yeah, and you're like, okay, we've we've like reached the peak of this mountain. But there's the ten percent is a whole other mountain yes, to climb. Totally, you yeah, know, yeah. it's the same height, maybe yeah, higher. Right, right, because it's that that ten percent of polish that really makes the video work. That's a good analogy. It takes you yeah. just as long to hike that. Yep. as it takes you to hike the first ninety percent. Yeah, yeah, I can relate with that deeply. So don't be discouraged. <laughs> yep, if you're out there. Yeah, man. Yeah, if you got a video that's at ninety percent, and you're like. This just isn't working. Don't worry. There's a don't whole other mountain. You there's a hole you got to climb a lot and more. And you don't even know where it is because <laughs> yeah. maybe you haven't been to that mountain yeah, yet. Exactly. You don't even and know. Yeah, where and it you're is like, wait, there's another around. mountain. And, yeah. and yes, there is. Mm -hmm. But as long as you keep wandering, you find the trail keep eventually. Wandering. It's true. Yeah. You might die in the woods somewhere, might, but don't worry. <laughs> you'll get regenerated and you'll start back at the base of the first mountain. Yep. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask for help, folks. Other people know what that mountain is. Cut to kitten meme. Yeah. <laughs> Hang in there, kitten. Me in there. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. We yeah, don't need yeah, to cut yeah, to yeah, it. We get it. Yeah. We get it. But really, do creator burnout's real? Yeah, man. Mm. Follow the kitten. Follow, Follow that kitten. The kitten. Follow the kitten. Hey, what's with all these um, creators in boxing now? <laughs> yeah, in should boxing? we do a we just boxing had creator thing clash? Yeah, yeah, creator should clash. We? Yeah. It, it, did Did Logan Paul start this? Or I assume so. Okay. Oh wait, no. Um. Uh oh, what's his name? Oh Jesus, I Dubs. Dude, yeah, like, I Dubs did. No, I know, but I'm not talking about like this specific instance. Oh, you're talking, talking about, about, about the culture of create of you of YouTubers. It probably can't was fight. Logan Paul and I fighting hate that. each other. It, isn't uh isn't Harley gonna do that? I thought I saw he he's did. Fighting, he did it. Yeah, he, he did, did it for the I Dubs one. Did yeah, he, Dude, he won his know. fight. I don't know if he fought another one after that, but he won That's his awesome. first fight. I think it's going to be therapeutic for our industry because YouTubers, we already fight in drama. You know, right. that's why Philip DeFranco has a, a job because right. he reports on all Philly the YouTuber D. drama and fills us in. Right. Fills me in all the time. You've and been filled in. Yeah. But like now that they can just box each other and really fight, is he going to be out of a job? True. I don't know. I don't know, yeah. man. There's it not going to be any more conflict. There was something, that, joking, just there was something terribly it pathetic is. and also very entertaining about the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was like very Makes entertaining. Sense. I was laughing. I was having a great time. It was. It was. It was well produced. I should check it out. It was um, well produced. But it's, it's I'm also guessing on like YouTube. you you compare <laughs> that to like Floyd Mayweather fight, and you're just like, does anyone know that there's people who are better at boxing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, but that's not the point. I'm not it's trying not to be salty about it, but yeah. mm -hmm. it it was it was weird to watch. It was like, hey, do you want to watch? Hey, I okay, I have Dodgers tickets, or we can go to a T ball game. What do you want to do? Yeah, and it's like, well, I but maybe I, you want to go to the T ball game, but I it's think also it's the personalities and it's the like I yeah. know this guy and I know. I've seen him in all. I've seen him in this context, but I haven't seen him in this context. That's yeah. what it is. It's like, would yeah. you rather go to your buddy's t-ball game or right. go see the Dodgers? Right. Where it's like your your buddy. It's these people you feel like you have this parasocial yes. relationship with, yeah. and so you're like, oh yeah, I'm rooting for them. Like, no, and that's what makes it entertaining yeah. for sure. And that and I was entertained by that as well. What if we do our own version of boxing, but it's like mocap boxing? Mocap oh, yeah. boxing. We made our own creator. <laughs> we, we made our own <laughs> creator. <laughs> we can be any wacky character we want. <laughs> you can pick any character from internet culture. Dude, yeah, George Lucas versus Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it's any anything so you want. Yeah, any, we, any and then, battle and then you we'll want. We'll skin you as that character. Yeah. We Real life Smash Bros. I'm gonna be I, I'm gonna be I Justine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I call Philip DeFranco. Yeah, Dang, I got dude. you. Oh Ray God. William Johnson. Man. Oh man, Ray Ray get William out. back from the grave. <laughs> back from the back from the dead, dude. Rise out of a coffin, dude. <laughs> dude, it's weird sometimes. Yeah. I don't know if there's any. I do miss sparring in the studio with you guys, like swords and like big bubble things. I'm telling you, we gotta get the yeah. we, we gotta get the rest of this building, and, know, then, and then we could really, have a gym. We could have a fighting gym. We could have a fighting gym. <laughs> yeah, that's what we really need is a fighting gym. Yeah. I think we do. <laughs> so what I was thinking, <laughs> yeah. dude. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we comment take our, below. 
Do you yeah. think we should get a fighting gym? And then there'll be a smash corner yeah, and then real corner. fighting all in the yeah. fighting gym. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Jake and I can just fight for real while you guys <laughs> yeah. fight each other in yeah. Smash Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. We take our passive aggressiveness and turn it into a boxing match. <laughs> I mean, my sword skills have decreased over the have last they? four years. Of course. I You've don't been use training? Them yeah. I mean, I, I used to be, you know, sword fighting. You ain't even going to need to do no training. You ain't even going to need to do no training. All one word. <laughs> <laughs> that did no i don't know if people know this story we've talked so about it before have we yeah. we were filming we were filming uh anime fidget spinners mm -hmm. and we were in this alley and it's like 2 a.m 3 a.m 4 a.m we're getting loopy i've been filming all night yeah and i get this call and i mute it because we're, we're on set and then i check the voicemail and it's like people at a party somewhere else who called the wrong number and it's like at a party and they don't know, and it's like a butt dial, and it left a voicemail message on my phone, and it's like, all you hear is this, like, loud, very loud, raucous party going on, and, like, people chanting and going, chug, 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 and then this one lady goes... She ain't even gonna need to do no training. <laughs> That's what we <laughs> just said. I remember that. I think I, you played yeah. that. Don't yeah. you still have it? I still have it. Just Can you play it for the podcast? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Have it. Dude, you, have, you gotta time. have it on hand. Where's my phone? Because it is, is so, so funny. Awesome, man. Yeah. I still want to get shirts that say it's all apostrophes and it says she ain't even It's all one word. She ain't even going to run on sentence. Yeah. Let me totally. see if I can pull it up. Oh, it's awesome. so good, dude. Oh, God. It's so good. Yeah. Anime fidget spinners. That, that kind of got us through the rest of the night. We were doing competitive <laughs> oh, you fidget just, spinning on set. So, so okay, so Jake time. heard this and played it for everyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, immediately. We're all just sitting there like that was our and call then, to, yeah, to action. Like, she ain't even got yeah. here and getting her <laughs> Totally. Dude, I love it, man. That is <laughs> weirdness. I have the voice That's recording. That's so awesome. Oh, man. Are you, I remember you brought it up in Texas. Matt, do you have here. a hole in the bottom of your shoe? I hope not. Uh-oh. No, what is that? It's like screwed up. Man, you should have oh, gotten no. Vessies. It's for the pumps. I get. To, I can pump it up. Oh. Pumped up kicks. Up. All those other kids. Is it on the other one? Yeah, it is. Do you think oh. fidget spinners are going to come back? No. <sighs> no? I don't think so. Damn. No, maybe like ironically in 10 mm. years. Like, oh, okay. They're kind of fun see. to like mess hipsters with. Hipsters will be sitting at coffee shops. With yeah. yeah. Like That's, <laughs> it's I so weird how trends it. like that just like they... They're they catch fire yeah. like crazy and then everyone's doing it and then it's just like gone. It's like Pokemon Go. Yeah. Oh my god. So that was the last Maybe time it was in an email. <laughs> it was Pokemon Go. It was. Yeah. I want a fidget spinner that can like like save all that energy. You know, like Ooh. so you could like charge your phone yeah. on a fidget spinner. Yeah. It could be cool and never run out of battery. That's wow. kinda awesome. But wait, maybe it's on my phone, like on my actual phone files. Uh oh. I your need to find files. this dude. It's like in your voicemail still. From like eight years she ago. She didn't even need no training. She ain't even, she ain't no even gonna need to do no training. She See, it took me a do. long time to get that down. I had to really work on it. <laughs> How does it go she, exactly? She is not even. even going to need to do any training. <laughs> All <laughs> one word. She not even gonna do no training. <laughs> one breath, right? She, she didn't even need to do no training. training. <laughs> <laughs> I think I messed it up. I right. love it, man. If I can't find it right here, I'll give up. That's awesome. <laughs> I wonder so what they were though. doing at that party. That, that's I, it what keeps I wonder. me up at night. Yeah. Like, what were they training for? What, what were they the not training? training for? Why she did she, she wasn't, even, ain't needing no who's she, do it. And what is she so proficient at? Yeah. That no training I have necessary. a theory. Okay. I have a theory. Okay. So one time, I was in this little town called Tofino. It's a little surf town, Tofino. west coast of Vancouver Island. And there just so happened to be a university. Uh, they had like a surf club mm. there. And they mm. had a bunch of kegs. Mm. Mm. And they were doing keg stands. Mm. Yeah, okay. that's well, that's what I thought. And this one girl yeah. goes up. <laughs> I figured. And she's like, oh, I've never done a keg stand before. And we were like, okay, cool. Lift her up. And she's doing the keg stand for like two minutes. Wow. And we're like, How, doesn't she need to breathe? Like, what is going on? And she comes down and she goes, oh, yeah, I free dive professionally. Whoa. <laughs> so that's what this lady is training for. Oh, my God. She didn't need to do no training. She, she's, she's, yeah. she's a free diver. She's a free diver. In Canada. Okay. That Maybe. was her. It was the same person. It could have been the same it person. Was probably, person. That was probably the same party. What yeah. year was this? Oh, my God. Wait, what year was it? What the hell, Jake? What year was it? Oh, my God. Uh, it would have been. What year is it now? 2022? It would have yeah. been like 20, 2018? 
That's when we filmed. Are you serious? Wait, that's that's when we filmed. Yeah, this this is Paul and Griffin. We filmed it. Holy, 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 holy shit. shit! What if it's the same person? Whoa. I mean, it was Trading honestly one of the most impressive. 2018, dude. Because you did a keg stand. It truly was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. Oh, 2017. Oh, okay. Might have been 2017. I don't know. <laughs> I have a keg stand I can story. I have help, I can figure dude. It out. All right. Let me figure this um, out. Are we done? Because I have a yeah. keg stand story. Oh, you have a keg stand story? Oh, God. Story? Matt. Listen. <laughs> I like to drop bombs of stories. Your closers. Right the end of podcast. Dude, Your I, closers, I just listened dude. to that last time. <laughs> closer. <laughs> you saw it? Yeah. Uh, dude. Y'all, okay. that shit is nuts. All right. So, L literally nuts. Okay, it's literally right, nuts. Close it out, oh, Matt. Let's right. go. What did right. I miss? Let's so, go. <laughs> I was in high school. This is like senior year of high school. Now, I was a Christian boy up until high school. And then high school came around and I was like, oh, beer's cool. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. kind of pivoted. I mm. uh, went to a public high school for the first time. So, you know, a lot of my friends there um, got me into like a party scene, a little bit of party stuff in like senior year. Mm -hmm. So, I went to like one of my first bigger parties that had a keg. I've never seen a keg you before. You went to a kegger. Uh, yeah. But um, I was always really good at um, slamming water bottles. It, I don't know why it was a thing that I was good at, but yeah. I could impressively like just down a bottle of water in like mm. a second. Whoa. So I saw the keg stand and there was like a little list of like uh, record times, yeah. like who had the best time. Right. And it was like, I think like 14 seconds or something. It was Nothing like, is more like 17, 18 year old than that. It's like, hey guys, yeah. let's drink a poisonous substance and see who can do it the longest. Yeah, as Most fast American as possible and did. for the longest. Yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking in my head, water, beer, same thing. My turn. Yeah. So I get up to that keg and they pick me up, pull me over, and I start slurping down that good beer juice. Yeah. And it goes to like 10 seconds, 11 seconds. There's a whole crowd around me in this garage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're all like fucking cheering me on at this point. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, shit, he's going to break the record of the night. Right. And then it goes to 14, 15, 16, mm -hmm. 17. And so that at that point, I was like, oh, I just just blew past this easy. They turned me around and I'm like cheering. And as I open my mouth, I projectile vomit. <laughs> and it's like a, it's literally <laughs> as if I became the keg. <laughs> It was pure beer so came out of my mouth and oh, got on shit. like people. Uh, I, I I I puked on people. I puked all over the garage, uh, and and the rest of the night I was just like I think I was just in a bathtub because <laughs> they didn't know what to do with me. They just oh, took a bathtub. bathtub, and I was just that was my introduction to parties in high school. Oh, oh my man. god. And, and I never lived that down either. Really? I never went to a party like that again, actually. Yeah. Because yeah, I feel like there's a whole podcast worth of like <laughs> adolescent yeah. drunk stories we can tell. Man. This is only the surface. <laughs> I'm only scratching the surface. Oh boy. I, got I too have been, stories like that. have been regulated to a bathtub at yeah. a party before, yeah. but yeah. I'm not proud of it. I, was I broke young. the record, I was though. Young yeah. idiot. <laughs> Fuck all of them. <laughs> I did it. I did it anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, God. holy. Ladies and gentlemen, Hopefully, you're making smarter decisions than that. Um, Don't drink in high school. It ruins the, your brain yeah, cells. It's not, it's not the greatest. <laughs> yeah, um, it's bad for you. Yeah, be responsible. It's a real thing. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'll go to a high school and drink if Sorry, I want close to. The door. Okay, I, I think that's I think that's hard. I drink in high schools every week. To play Blink-182 out. Blink-182. Close my door, Mom. Oh, my God. What a perfect outro. It is. You're not the boss of me. It's all right to tell me what you think about me. I won't try to argue or hold it against you. I know that you're leaving. You must have your reasons. Oh, seasons. yeah. <laughs> I'm calling oh, the pictures. Oh, for yeah. This now. <laughs> and I'll happen once again. You'll turn to a friend. Someone understands and sees through the promised land. I don't know if that is the real words, but it doesn't really matter. Because if you're not still listening, if you're still listening, chug, then you chug, should chug, subscribe. Chug, chug.
subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks you for enjoying the After Hours cast. We appreciate you and we love you. Thank Have you. A great love day. you. Kisses. Love you. Mwah.